We're leaving the century of oil, and that the oil was the most important natural resource of the last hundred years, and we're entering the century of water, where water will replace oil by the end of this century as the most important natural resource around the world. And in the century of water, it's going to be increasingly important for people to have a better command on water conservation, water security, water policy. The Schwamigan Bay area is particularly susceptible to climate change impacts and a lot of our research is trying to understand how climate change might impact our, our region and then what we can do about that, what we can do to adapt to climate change into the future. This is interesting, this is like a part of a Sagittarius area, I think. Here we have uh, water facilities in two of the most important watersheds in North America. We have the campus, which is in the Lake Superior, and thereby the Great Lakes watershed. And then we have Forest Lodge, which is just over the subcontinental divide and the upper reaches of the Mississippi River watershed. So Northland College thereby is one of the few academic institutions in the country, if not the continent, that has a physical presence in two of the most important watersheds in North America. Peter Annan is the foremost uh, expert on Great Lakes water. He wrote Great Lakes Water Wars, will be writing more books, keynotes, conferences, reports to Congress on the, on the quality of Great Lakes water. Randy Ware has been at the college for five years. He is a prominent water researcher, uh, studies climate change, uh, was uh, in, a, in a position that allowed him to build out a water lab. And so we try to bring students in as freshmen and sophomores and plug them into our research and, and have them develop over time and promote them through different positions and give them increasing responsibility so that you know, as they progress through this, they're really contributing valuable components to our research, but they're learning a lot. They're becoming more independent. They're, they're becoming our colleagues by the time they graduate. One of the important features of the center is really honoring of Mary Griggs Burke, um, a family and a, a wonderful woman who cared about the Northwoods, cared about arts, cared about uh, humanity. The foundation has provided $10 million to create a center. The process that we go about conducting the research and working with the communities then becomes a model for just broader environmental management. How do you work with different groups? How do you think about these complex environmental problems to develop solutions that are important, not just in the region you're working, but to all the groups that are working on similar environmental issues around the, around the country and around the world?